We've had quite an interesting start to the 2024 F1 season. Upsets, underdogs and a whole lot of drama already. Today we're diving into Haas's surprising rise to contender status. Remember when Haas was synonymous with back of the grid? Those days feel like ancient history now. This year the VF24 is turning heads and shaking up the midfield. Just look at their recent results. This team's not just surviving anymore, they're thriving. The key to Haas's success seems to lie in a design philosophy engineers call a benign car. Put simply, a benign car is predictable. It gives drivers the confidence to push limits without nasty surprises. Balance and consistency are the names of the game and Haas seems to have cracked the code. Their drivers are reaping the rewards. Us early season success seems to be working wonders for team morale. Good results mean they can invest heavily in upgrades, unlike some teams who might need to start pinching pennies. With their first batch of upgrades coming this sprint weekend in China and more in Imola, who knows what the team has in store for the rest of the season? Could Haas challenge the established order? Could we see them battling for the upper midfield positions this season? This is still a team working on a tight budget compared to the Giants, but they've shown that a clever car and confident drivers can rewrite any script. We can't forget the change at the top for Haas. One interesting factor to consider is the new team principal at Haas. Maybe their focus on results, rather than Netflix docuseries fame, is paying dividends. A welcome change if the past few seasons were anything to go by. Has this new leadership unleashed the team's true potential? Is Haas here to stay? Or is this just the beginning of an unpredictable, chaotic F1 season? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.